Hi everyone and welcome back to another Work No Game video. Today's video is DK2, the best stage to farm to increase your battle power. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. If you jump into members right here, we're going to be talking about how to increase this doodad right here. And if you jump into your characters and then you go into your memories and the place that I want us to focus on is how to get more of these fodder material or the enhancers. That's what they're usually called. So if we jump into my spreadsheets right here, you can see co-op is going to be the best place for me specifically. And we're going to be farming Osiris on the nightmare mode nightmare mode is quintessential because if you farm easy mode you won't be getting as many of like the enhanced material as you can see we got the purples and the blues and you even get like the weapon enhancers right so that's going to be pretty important right there and another thing that i wanted to showcase is if you jump into main you go into battle and then you look at your resources and you try to farm this area out you sort of can but at the very beginning of the game it's not really worth it this is more of a later game thing once you hit around like level 35 plus because that is what you're going to need in order to unlock the co-op mode as we stated here. All right, let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay. And if you didn't see that Lee is absolutely insane, 4.4K, like 5K power. And one of the biggest things when you're jumping into this stage is I recommend most players who don't have like the highest stats to run as B live because as the healer, you can essentially control the fight. And all you really need to do is like jump in and then cast the blue skill essentially you're healing everyone for as much as you can and as the healer i would say like this is the hardest role or most important role to play because your dps essentially they just have to spam skills and as a healer all you have to do is essentially kite and then generate your blue orbs and constantly heal everyone and also kill like these little like eye things that shoot out the lasers because that will kill your DPS. And your main role is just to keep everyone alive. It's just really nice to have a healer during these fights because you never know when someone dies too early. Now we beat this stage rather quickly, mostly because the Lee is there. And another thing to note is this is a stage that's very limited. So you wanna do this in nightmare and never do it on easy as you can see like we're going to be getting like some of like the enhancement fodder and those enhancement fodder will get reduced if you are not running this on easy so that's one of the biggest things that you want to avoid while running this stage and essentially no one wants to play the healer that's why i recommend the healer we're gonna run the stage one more time just so you guys can see it and honestly speaking the most difficult parts is probably finding a team also i don't recommend running this on level 45 if you want to save your weeklies until you hit command at level 45 mostly because level 45 is going to be insanely difficult for most players it's just because like not a lot of people can essentially perform at that level so just be okay with like farming level 35 don't try to save your currency in order to farm harder stages this is the best way to also get five star gear in the game so if you are wondering five star gear is also the best gear for free to play Six star gear can only be obtained via the weapon gacha. We'll look at that later, but you should always be here if you can at the early stages of the game. And then you can worry about level 45 as the rest of your team members get strong, as the rest of the player base also gets strong, because it's just one of those things that it's just not gonna be easy to do until everyone gets to, you know, that proper level to tackle the harder content within the game. As you can see, more enhancers and all that stuff, right? All right, so now that we know that co-op is going to be one of the best places to get enhanced enhancement fodder and just to get five star weapons you should also be overclock material the reason why is because this is probably one of the most used resources in the entire game memory overclock circuit so if you jump into main and then you look at one of my characters let's go to kamui or no let's go to bianca and as you can see i'm going to need to overclock this voltaire specifically and in order for me to upgrade her any further then i'm going to need overclock material as you can see i only have three left and you're going to be overclocked very frequently within this game so make sure to have as many as possible like I said it's not really that worth it to go into battle and then go into resource and farm like these memory like enhancers out like early on in the beginning it's not really worth it mostly because if you jump into the missions the story missions will be providing you a lot of like these memory enhancers so you're gonna have access to a lot of these now some of you might be wondering all right if like the best weapon that I can get from co-op is going to be fine five star weapons what about six star weapons so if you jump into main and you go into R&D research you go into focus research the only way to get six star weapons is via the weapon gotcha now before everyone just pulls on the weapon gotcha just note that there are weapons specific to characters so for example let's go ahead and select the darkness this weapon in particular is very specific to Kamui because just know it's going to be increasing dark damage dealt and there's another thing known as resonance we'll talk about it but these six star weapons are 
are specific to particular characters so just take into account as you are changing like these sets make sure to look at like the actual weapons capabilities before you're just like oh i think this six star weapon looks cool i feel like all of like the luchias will be able to wear this let's go ahead and look at like that actual blade and this one's going to be increasing basic attack but what about the other one i bet the other one's more related to lucia dawn or some other character and it'll increase like some sort of element right so inverse shadow this one's going to be increasing elemental damage so obviously this weapon would not go on lucia lotus which is like you know the basic damage one this would go on more of an elemental damage oriented lucia which would be technically lucia dawn so if you're wondering what i'm talking about if you jump over here and then you go into construct army this is going to be lucia dawn and then this is going to be lucia lotus right just note that you will probably get a different weapon possibly for alpha whenever she does appear but just note that that's something to look into in case you are trying to pull for weapons probably best to save your black cards for future banners such as alpha who's going to be appearing and then maybe after you get alpha and you don't want any more characters then feel free to look into the weapon gotcha if you so happen to choose so just note that the weapons have particular resonance so six star weapons have three slots of resonance and five star weapons only have one and then five star memories they do have resonance but just note that six star memories will have more resonance so we keep talking about resonance and also credits to on um, um gaming because they're the ones who showed off like this information as far as affixes so if you want more details on like affixes or resonance and stuff like that feel free to check out his video but let's go ahead and keep jumping into this so if you go into your members right here and then you go into any character in particular let's go into airwin or memory right and you jump into upgrade if you have dupes for that specific memory then you can go ahead and slam another memory in there and then you hit confirm and now you'll essentially gain a resonance. Now, before you do this, just be wary that, you know, you don't want to equip like or technically use any memories that you feel like should go on the bottom slot. The reason being is because the bottom slot memories, they essentially have better stats. Feel free to upgrade the top memories or, you know, the top memory slots, one, two, and three, pretty much done upgrading the bottom. So maybe like max out the bottom first and then, you know, do what you need to do on the top. Here's going to be like an overview of a whale account where they were able to actually get like six star darkness maximum overclock and then they have six star hannah and the other memories essentially all maxed out all like you know overclocked to the absolute max so this is what a 4.4k is going to be looking like and just note that they didn't add resonance to like these six star memories so you know something has resonance when it has like these little blue circles on the side if you're wondering what that's going to be looking like so for example on my ike right here you can see he has a resonance and he has attack plus 10 and then defense plus 15 just note that that is going to be on the lower end and it's not really worth it to constantly re-roll you know your resonance it's better to just stick with the resonance and go from there if you're wondering what i'm talking about you can actually jump into this particular resonance and then select a memory and then you can do it over again i wouldn't do that this is more of like an end game thing it's just something that i want us to be aware of because this system is probably going to be a huge stamina sink and like i said earlier i deeply apologize for any of you who have you know sacrificed your ike in lieu of like my mistake i'm just going to be doing a giveaway for this video all you have to do is leave a comment down below and i'll select two people from this video this is me just apologizing for the folks who you know used an ike and maybe you can use some of that stuff in order to top up and get something in the gotcha or in case you want to you know use it to for other things outside of like punishing Grey Raven. That is just a huge like mistake on my part. And I just want to own up to it and say I'm sorry for anyone who, you know, sacrificed their Ikes and stuff. So I'm just doing a giveaway just to do what I can in order to help folks out. And yeah, I made a huge mistake and I'm just sorry for that. But anyways, we covered a lot in today's video. We co-op and all that stuff, right? This is gonna be the best place to just get gear and enhancers. If you're not jumping into there, you're going into like the actual resources right here and getting overclock material because you're constantly going to be overclocking your memories. And then if you need like more memory enhanced fodder, you know, feel free to jump into story. If you've pretty much expended all of your story and 
if you've expended all of your event co-op missions, then feel free to do like the logistics maintenance and, you know, farm like one of the harder stages and, you know, feel free to farm this area out. But honestly, it's going to be really hard to do that at the beginning of the game because they're going to be so freely given out. And as you can tell, this is more of a late game thing. And like we talked about earlier, you can do like resonance upgrades, but this is like superior end game. I really, really wouldn't touch this until you know that you're deeply committing to like these memories, because what if you need them for other things? What if you want to build other characters out? I don't recommend, you know, using resonance on like these particular memories, because technically you can use this Ike set if you manage to, you know, pull like a Karenina or something and you want to use like those dupe Ikes that you had for this character, or in case you want to use like Erwin on like other characters, right? So I wouldn't just jump in there and resonance just because you have dupes of like that particular what have you, because they could be used for other characters and memories can be difficult to get. And one more thing when it comes to four star weapons, if you're wondering, four star weapons or anything four star and below cannot have resonance. Only stuff with like five star and above can essentially get resonance and it's technically fairly limited but we'll cover that in the future but anyways hopefully this video helped you out as far as like increasing your overall battle power it's just really a repeat of like overclocking and getting like this enhancement fodder and just really going to town on your memories and on your weapons but yeah if you made it this far in today's video consider subscribing dropping a like leaving a comment follow me on twitch follow me on twitter if you want to be entered into the giveaway as an apology from me make sure to just drop a comment that way you can be selected via Via the YouTube random comment picker. Thanks so much and have yourself a fantastic day. See ya.